Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. That's what Christianity does. They teach lies. That's right. And those lies are prevalent because how many churches across the you go if you travel from here to 67, how many on estimate, how many churches you will see? No. So why is the community in the shape that it's in? Check it out. Because the church is not helping the community. That's right. The church is a detriment to the community. Right. Because they don't believe in God. I don't care what Bible they get. They don't believe in God because they're not showing you what the Bible say to do. That's how we fix, because well, that's what we're talking about. We, how do we fix about, the, we the about problems right now. in our communities? How do we fix if it? Because we've tried multiple things, wouldn't you say? We tried many things to stop the violence, right? Yeah. We tried many. We still do. We still do. Are they working? <laughs> that's the one I was going over forgive us as, as a people. Yeah, I don't know why we can't stand the killer, man. The reason we can't get around that. So one of the reasons the reason we can't stand together is because we departed from our God. We departed from the Bible. So the solution is for us to return to the Bible and actually do what it says. That's the one thing that we have not tried. Listen to this. Because you know why? You know why? The book of Sirach, chapter 28 and verse 1. He that brings vengeance shall find vengeance from the Lord. And he will surely keep his sins in remembrance. So when we take revenge, like what goes on in the city, we, we take revenge, together. it's say you're going to find vengeance of the Lord. If somebody do something to you and you take it in your hands to judge them, the Most High going to judge you. That's what it's saying. And the most, that's, why, that's why the killers go on. Because the Most High, a young man shooting each other, killing each other, the Most High, like, okay, you want to shoot him down? Hey, call the same thing to happen to you. That's my judge. That's what the Most High said. Exactly. Right. Right. Forgive thy neighbor the hurt that he hath done unto thee, so shall thy sins also be forgiven without grace. It says, forgive thy neighbor the hurt that he has done to you. If we applied this, if we just applied this, that would eliminate the violence. That's how we fix our community. And we will be a much greater people. Exactly. But, the, but you know what? The reason it gets on 82. You know what? You know what? Because I think you said it. Exactly. Oh, we are great. Great. I'll be blessed. This Bible, did you know that this Bible is our history book? No. No. In it. That's why I stopped here, man. I see y'all. I'm in this, man. This is our history book. Let's see what our history book let us know. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. So the Bible said we are gods. We are the gods of the earth. But what's the problem? What's the problem, though? If we the gods of the earth, what's the problem? Why are we? Why is God killing God? Because we don't know that we the gods of the earth. We don't know it. We don't know that we're the greatest nation on this earth. We've been destroyed. So the, the solution is that we return to our God and apply his commandments. Do what he told us to do. Read. But ye shall die like men. That's what's going on in our communities. It says, I said ye are gods, but ye shall die like men. The reason we die like men, we are the walking dead. All these movies they got. We are the walking dead because we're walking around without God's commandments. That's right. God's commandments is the life that we're supposed to be walking in. When we when we keep the commandments, that's life. That's right. Our lives, our brothers, these brothers walk rolling around with these three. What's the name of them three wheel things? Slingshots and rolling around on doves. 
That ain't life. That's right. That ain't living. They're trying to get yourself killed. Exactly. exactly. Our life is the commandments of God. That's right. That's how we be gods on the earth. But we that we we die we dying like men because today. We ain't keeping the commandments. Right. That's why I say you should die like men. Right. Come here, bro. Read with that in mind. You ain't lying, bro. And fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God. Judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. This is what we're supposed to be doing. That's right. Doing what the Bible says. This is what we did before. Right? Exactly. But we, the part we turned away from it, bro. and now we in the bottom of society. Yes, sir. We call it the minority, but yet we are actually the majority. Right. You just, when you put together the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you see the 12 tribes of Israel, we are we we are no, as numerous as the sands of the sea. That's right. We are not the minority, but we don't know that. That's right. We think that we are the minority because we've been destroyed through slavery. That's right. We've been destroyed through not keeping God's commandments. What was you going to say, my brother? Purple hat? I heard you say that we are God. Exactly. Now we are God. No, wait, 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 wait. I want to correct that. The Bible said we are God. Okay, yeah, that's right. That's right. Now, Go ahead. The Bible said we are God uh -huh. on this earth. Why do we have to if we are God, then we are the most the high gods are the most powerful, the most I mean you name it or I can't describe the word. I know exactly what you're talking about. But at the same time, if we are God, why we have to go back to them commandments? If we are God. Because these are the commandments that the Most High God gave us. That's, That's right. right. So we are God, but we are not God. Okay. We are of Him. We are made in His he image. Made, exactly. He made us in His image. So if a God make a God, what is that? You are God is in you. Exactly. So read this real quick. So listen, read this. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21, and verse 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. So when we wander out of the way of understanding, the way of understanding is keeping the commandments. That's the way right. of understanding is men growing their beard. Yeah. We depart from that, we start shaving our beards, that's wandering out of the way of understanding. Yeah. We shave our head bald, that's wandering out of the way of understanding. Yeah. Our young women wearing pants and mini skirts, that's wandering out of the way of understanding. That's right. Our men walking up and down the street, dressing like women, that's walking, that's wandering out of the way of understanding. Us you. going into the Christian church, that's wind, us wandering out of the way of understanding. That's right. Because the Christian church tells us that we ain't got to keep the commandments. Right. So us going into various things, all these things that we are, us, our brothers game banking, yeah. selling drugs. That's wandering out of the way of understanding. That's so when we wander out of the way of understanding, what happens? The way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. In the congregation of the dead. Meaning we are walking dead men when we are not keeping the commandments. Right. And that's the same thing that we just read where it says, I said ye are gods, but you shall die like men. That's right. right. Our young men are walking and walking up and down the street killing each other because they don't understand that we are the gods of the earth. They don't understand that if by them shooting their brother down, they destroy in their own nation. So let me ask you this. So in Christianity, do they say that you have to keep the commandments or that the laws are done away with? Do they say that we have to keep the laws or do or are they done away with? I would call keep the laws. Keep the laws. What are some of the laws that we gotta keep? All of the laws or whatever is written What are the laws that we gotta keep though? So do we have to keep the laws that's written in Leviticus? Okay, so real quick, so real quick, Leviticus 21 and 5. So real quick, because this is the commandment. This is the law. So I want to ask you this, if you were taught in Christianity, because I would assume that you went to the Christian church. Baptist church. Baptist church, that's Christianity. So if you were taught to keep the laws, were you taught this? Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So were you ever taught in Christianity that you are not supposed to shave your head, Paul? You haven't been taught that. No, I'm saying, I ain't saying by your studying, have the Christian church taught that? Well, I, I, I know because I never heard it come out. So that means that lets, that lets you know that they're not teaching the commandments. So right. bring it out. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. 
Pentecostal has the Christian church taught that you're not supposed to shave your beard off. So that lets you know that Christ the Christianity does not teach the laws of God. Right. They teach the philosophies of men. Right. Because I was in Christianity. And I used to shave my beard. Right. And what happens when you shave your beard? And you get some stubble. You get stubbles, you get hair bumps. And them hair bumps, them hair bumps, them hair bumps hurt like hell. Yeah. Right. You know what that, that's called? That's called judgment. Right. That's judgment for breaking the commandments of God. Right. Now, when you go to that now, that's just, you said the law of the commandment of the uh -huh. Lord, right? That's just one or two. That's just one. But it's multiple. It ones. is multiple. Yeah, I mean, some do teach. Not but do they teach the, do they, if they don't teach that, so what do they like teach? The, the Ten Commandments or whatever. They don't even teach that. No, right. Because I've been in Christianity. No church. What Christianity does is use semantics. Because you say, okay, do we got to keep the, you got you to keep the laws of the Bible? Yeah, you got to keep the laws of the Bible. Then you read a law. No, you ain't got to do that. Christ did away with the laws. Because that's, what, that's what's taught in Christianity. I was there. They say that Christ came to fulfill the law. So we don't have to keep it. We just got to believe in him. do anything. Right. So, but when you say, so what about thou shalt not kill? No, you can't kill. That's a commandment. Bring it out. But when you say, when you when think about it, when you say out your mouth that Christ did away with the law, the spirit that you're putting out there is, I don't have to follow thou shalt not kill. Right. And that mouth is telling Even though out your mouth you're saying, no, you can't kill. But if you're teaching people that they ain't got to keep the commandments, and, oh, that's the Old Testament. Thou shalt not kill the Old Testament. So what you're saying is, no, you don't got to keep the commandments. That's what Christianity does. They teach lies. That's right. And those lies are prevalent because how many churches across the... You go... If you travel from here to 67, how many, on estimate, how many churches you will see? No. So, why is the community in the shape that it's in? Check it out. Because the church is not helping the community. That's right. The church is a detriment to the community. Right. Because they don't believe in God. I don't care what Bible they get. They don't believe in God because they're not showing you what the Bible say to do. Get uh, Sirach 32 and 24. Bring it out. Because th this is what, the thing about it. So I'm going to get a, so we're going to read this and then get uh, Malachi 2 and 7. The book of Sirach chapter 32. In verse 24, he that believeth in the Lord, taketh heed to the commandment. So if you believe in the Lord, which most of them, all pastors say, they believe in the Lord, right? Right. It says, if you believe in the Lord, you take heed to the commandment. Meaning that you're going to do what the Bible say you're supposed to do. That's right. The men, many of the pastors got bald heads and shaved off faces. Jesus. Which is a show that they don't keep the commandments. Jesus. Many of the churches got young women sitting Damn. on the front row with short skirts on and they, they defile they all up in their skirts. Jesus. But the Bible say thou shalt not commit adultery. But yet many of the pastors are doing that. When you look at the Catholic church, what they doing? Molesting kids. But the Bible say thou shalt not lay with mankind as with womankind. And where did they go to our schools now? You got to in the school. That's the thing. That's the thing. And so the salute, the Christian church is not the solution to our problem. That's right. Us that's doing right. what the Bible says. Why would say. the church fight against the, that coming to the church? That they say what? Why wouldn't the Christians fight for the church not coming to the church? Because like you said, they didn't teach it. They, all they're interested in is their pockets getting fat. That's all the church is about. They're going to teach you how to dance and hoot and holler and run around the church. And shake your butt but when it comes to keeping God's commandments, they have no part in that because they don't have the Spirit of God. That's right. They don't have the Spirit of God. Because if they did, they'll be fixing the community by teaching God's laws. All that money that come into the church, they'll be putting it right back into the community. But they're not doing that. Get Matthew 26. I mean... Yeah, Matthew 26. Alright, read that real quick. Read that. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So 
it said the priest lips should keep knowledge. The priest is your pastors, your priest of the Catholic Church, your deacons, your uh, your elders that's in the church, the apostles. Those are the priests. It says the priest lips should keep knowledge. What is that knowledge? And they should seek the law at his mouth. And they shall seek the law. Meaning what the priest are supposed to be teaching is God's laws. Right. But they're not doing that. That's, right. That's why our communities is in shambles. Because they're not doing nothing. They're teaching the doctrine that they've been taught in slavery to keep the slaves quiet. I stop at the truth, man. They teach. I stop at the truth. What the churches are doing is teaching motivational messages. They're not teaching the Bible. They just giving motivational, feel-good messages, so you can go and continue your sin. Put that money in the cup. Exactly. That's all the church is about. It's a business. It ain't really about fixing the people. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 